Hello, everybody. Welcome to Esoteric Atlanta. Of course, my name is Bryce, and this is my friend Stephanie from Spiritual Perspectives of Our Great Awakening. And this is a very, this is a last minute video. In fact, I was shoveling down mac and cheese, editing uh, my video for Mary Magdalene Part 9 for Tuesday, and we decided to jump on last minute. But first, first things first, we have to show our t shirts because we both have the same one on, don't we? Yep. And uh, Mr. Hey, DeSantis, of Florida, we love you, DeSantis. <laughs> Mr. DeSantis, Mr. DeSantis, you were one of my high school teachers, Mr. DeSantis. I still can't call you Governor DeSantis. It feels weird. It feels weird. And I know you're not that much older than me. And I have to say that in the private school world, that's very normal for the teachers to like not be that much older than the students. But you're still always just going to be Mr. DeSantis <laughs> in my mind. So, so anyway, well, guys, before we get started, I wanted to go ahead and remind you guys of Stephanie's awesome channel. And guys, today she put up a few videos that are amazing because she's now doing um, the Zodiac reads, but instead of just specifically signs, she's doing the elements like fire, which fire is... Um, What's fire? Sagittarius, Aries, Leo, water signs, which are Scorp Scorpio, Cancer, and Pisces. And then the air sign, which is myself, Aquarius, you, Libra, and um, Gemini. And then the earth signs would be Virgo, Capricorn, and Taurus. I think I got them all, all the signs. Yeah, anyway, I think you got it. Now, I will say I shared a bunch of her videos, and I went back and I watched the air signs because that's me and girl hit the nail on the head you totally that was my story so i am so excited that she's doing that again guys um so please go and make sure you're subscribed to stephanie's channel and also stephanie you do offer private tarot card readings don't you mm -hmm. yep and i will put um your email address steps i know you're revamping your website right now so i'll put your email address down in the description box below if people would like to book a private reading with you but you're going to make some policy changes right to your your bookings yeah yeah um so i'm under this i'm under the suspicion that just like bryce i'm having my finances also tampered with. And I don't have a regular desk job. I, I used to be a medical assistant. I removed myself out of that world for several different reasons. I'm sure you guys can totally understand a lot of those reasons at this point. Um, <clears throat> so I've kind of had to be very creative in how I make my money. And I want to make an honest living, of course. Um, I taught myself the tarot back in the fall. And I spent literally nine hours a day sometimes practicing and Bryce can attest to that. Um, and I just, I clung on to it and I really, really um, began to develop a passion and I wanted to, always wanted to help people. I almost went to school to be a therapist. So this is my income. And what's been happening is I've been having a lot of people no showing. And I often, what I do is I have people pay me the day of, and I don't like to go into finances or anything like that, but this is my way of putting food on the table. So I have had uh, an abundance of no shows. And so that's less I can pay for my bills and stuff like that. So going forward, uh, payments will be made up front um, and they will be non-refundable if there's a no show, um, just because that is my source of income. Um, and I, I'm very, very flexible with a lot of things. And so, uh, but this is something that I'm planning on moving um, in the near future. There's a lot of um, changes in my personal life where I'm going from two sets of income to only one. So I'm the only one. So it's super important that, you know, my clients, they make it on time to their uh, readings and that um, they're diligent about letting me know if they have to reschedule so that I can accommodate somebody else to fill that slot. It's just like a regular office of any kind of doctor's office. I remember no shows and the doctors would get so ticked off because that was their source of income. So um, now I totally get it. And so um, it's not to be disrespectful. It's just so that I can feed my child and myself. Um, and going forward, I can 
live off of the one income instead of having to go out and get a job where that requires certain things, we'll just say. Yeah. So, and also just to put it into perspective, um, you know, like if you book a reading for an hour and Stephanie has actually taken that hour out of her day for you. And so if there's a no show, she literally can't last minute fill somebody in. That's literally her time that she's now lost. And so, and I know Stephanie, you're super flexible. So if you book an appointment and you have to like move something around because something came up, you're totally able to accommodate that. Mm -hmm. It's just understanding that. And it takes a lot for people to do readings. It takes a lot of energy for you yeah. to actually tap into, tap into that person's higher self and understand, especially when you don't know the person. So you're trying to, to help them and give them your perspective from what um, mm -hmm. their higher, higher self is trying to say. And so I think most of the audience totally understands that because we're all human beings. And yes, my finances have been heavily tampered with these last few months, um, heavily, heavily. One day I will probably write a book about everything that's happened. And it is, it is, it is very daunting when that happens, but you know, when you're standing in the light and you're aligned with the good as Mary Magdalene calls God in her, her gospel, the good, um, things will work themselves out for the betterment of, of you. And so, um, so yes, going forward, guys, just please keep that into perspective when you're booking with Stephanie, that this is her job and, um, this is how she feeds her kid and herself. It's just like, if you had a doctor's appointment, you're going to be diligent. You're going to no show fee if you no show. A doctor's appointment Same with a lot of hairdressers and all that kind mm -hmm. of stuff there is a fee if it's like the day of you know and we understand that because that is their time as well and so it's an it's an energy exchange but with that being said we i've gotten a lot of questions from people and i know you probably have too stephanie because there's so many people on this journey that are new to like tarot cards and divination and they're coming out of that as you know well they're coming out of that um matrix of religion we'll say and so i and they've seen us reading on shows they've seen other readers reading on shows but some people are a little bit nervous about yes. what a one-on-one -on -one reading looks like now i am a veteran when it comes to tarot cards i have been getting tarot card readings for a very long time before youtube i've been, always been very fascinated with the with the tarot cards and i myself I'm an amateur reader, but I've, I've, my friend Janet, who lives in Atlanta, we, um, we used to go to all these fairs all the time and just get, she was always my, uh, my weirdo friend. She's not weird. She's awesome. But you know, she puts the stones in her clothes and all that kind of stuff. So she, she and I would always hit up the fairs and stuff. And so we are not, I'm not a stranger to these kinds of readings. And as you guys have probably seen, I pretty much live my life like an open book. Um, those who have nothing to hide hide nothing that's kind of my motto now of course there are things i do keep private but most of the time i'm pretty open and so what we're going to do tonight um is we are i'm going to let stephanie do a general reading on me for you guys so this is for you guys who um are nervous and want to understand what that's like so we're going to treat this like you're just watching a private zoom stephanie snickering because <laughs> I'm excited about this. I'm ready to embarrass Bryce to the full maximum capacity. No, I'm just joking. I love you too much to do that. <laughs> well, it's funny because you're reading on the air signs. I was like, girl, part two, this is my story. And then I know I saw part. that comment and I laughed. I nearly died. I'm like, and you know what the funny part is? And I just want to say this. I did not purposely choose those cards to match your story. And then I went back afterward and I'm looking and I'm like, Oh my God. I did not. <laughs> I watched, so I watched it twice and I could tell you were totally in the zone. Like you were, cause Stephanie knows, you know, Stephanie and I are like friends. Say really, my cards, by the way. Yeah. So I'm just yeah. letting everybody know. We're like legit friends outside of YouTube. And so as girlfriends, we tell each other stuff. You know, we, we tell each other personal stuff as girlfriends do. And so I could tell that when you were reading that you were so in the zone, that you weren't even realizing that you were literally telling my story. <laughs> I was like, that's how good of a reader she is, is that all she was just looking at what the cards were telling her. So let's see, what would be a good question for me for a general reading? Can we, is six months too much of a time window? Should I say two months, 
what are the next two months going to be like for me? We can do six months. I like six months better. Okay. So let's see. April, May, June, July. August. So that brings us to September. So from April to September, we'll say, because we're almost in April. Okay. So, all right. Higher self. My so, higher self is quite sassy, guys. So. Oh, yeah. It is very sassy. I've channeled it before. <laughs> oh, my goodness. My higher self got really sassy the other day on my dousing board. That was interesting. And then Jesus Christ got sassy the other day, too. I kid you not, guys. If you're coming out of the church, Jesus said the word piss. That's I'm hilarious. telling you. Like, see, I've been out of the church for so long. That doesn't shock me because I think they probably, I mean, they're humans. They, they, you know, yeah. Mary Magdalene and Yahshua were human it's beings. Too. It's an expression. It's, it's, it's not a swear. It's a passion word. Passion word. Passion. No, they've, they've, they've messed that. They've messed with our heads. Well, first of all, a lot of the words that are curse words now didn't even exist back then in that time. Right. Um, but, but, you know, personally curse, like the F bomb word. Yeah. I mean, that was that fornication one. under consent of the King, right? That's when they were trying to um, weed out the Scottish people fornication under the consent of the King. They would spit in the English soldiers up there to RAP. No, you didn't know that. Yeah. That's where fuck <laughs> to fuck someone <laughs> fornication under consent of the King. Yeah. It's when they they're trying to read out weed out the Scottish people, so they would send the English soldiers <laughs> up there to basically R A P E the women. Oh, okay. Well, I said to myself, I said, okay, I said to Yashua Jesus, I'm like, listen, if you say the f bomb to me on my dousing board, I'm gonna shit myself. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised because that's, but that, that word didn't exist when he was here. Cause that <laughs> happened like later on, you know, according to the timeline we're given, who knows, but like, okay. So the word shit um, is, was a cockney, was a cockney um, word for waste basically. And the old, um, if you look at the old buildings, like in England, they would, they have the, the, the roofs come over the door. so they would throw the waste out the window. And so, but to say shit, that was considered like lower class. And so it became a bad word because you didn't want to seem that you were of that lower class. Does that make sense? So that's where these words got these labels of being bad. They're not bad. They're just, um, it was just a cultural thing. And so, yeah, to, to cur curse words, to curse someone is literally to hex someone, to do black magic. That's what that means. Not dropping the F-bomb, you know. So anyway, all right. So yeah, my higher self can be a little bit sassy. She's way cooler than I am. <laughs> She's not, she doesn't laugh as much as I do though, which is kind of sad, but. <laughs> I laughed at you on the board. That was another thing that happened. H-A, H-A. Okay. We were asking yeah. if something was in the Bible and it was taken out by the powers that be. And God's like, ha, ha. <laughs> very profound, very profound. I'm shocked and you didn't say LOL. I, I have such a closest closeness to God and Jesus now that I've never had. And it's it's just so liberating. Oh my goodness. Okay. Um, I'm pulling several cards here because there's a story going on here. Of course there is. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm just gonna explain to the audience. I'm a freestyle um tarot card reader. I don't do fancy spreads. I gauge it and um, let my intuition take over, really. And so I pull sometimes three cards, sometimes four cards, sometimes ten cards. It really all depends. And uh, I apologize. I'm going to drink a lot of water because I'm so thirsty lately with the ascension and everything. So, all right. Let's see what we got here. <laughs> Well, the story, kind of an add-on to yesterday. <laughs> My life is a freaking telenovela. You know, I never wanted a boring life, and God knows it hasn't been boring. So this is, I'm, oh, I'm going to write a book one day. Well, I'm totally going to write a book one day because this shit's wild. Yeah. Well, I, I get the moon card. So to the audience, the moon card is like, spirit's not going to give away the whole thing there's a lot of background stuff that we don't quite know about um <coughs> and i feel like somebody's trying to make your life a living hell right now which i know that already so the thing is i read better on people i don't know um 
just in more intuitively, but because of the what's going on with the situation that we're in here. Yeah, someone's trying to cause some havoc on your life. And um hmm. They're trying to put you in a hangman state. Which they kind of have. I mean, they kind of have in some ways. My channel has been frozen. Um, we know I've expressed in one video that money is literally every time I post a video, money is withdrawn from my account. Um, that money is going somewhere to another account. It's not mine. So I'm, mm. money being stolen from me. Um, I'm being shadowed. I also think your subscribers are stolen from you as well. Yeah. Um, it's unbelievable. And, and it, but it's still, I, but still I thrive still. I, I mean, the universe is still taking care of me. And that's the funny thing is that, um, it's, it's, you know, I, I know there's been death spells put on me. I know that I'm not going to say how I know that, but I do know that. And I think people are going to be really shocked when the trunk, when the truth comes out, when the mask falls, um, let's yep. just say that there was a military back channel posting. I believe that said like 90% of the truthers are not good. And so I think that's going to be very, very shocking for people. That's all I'm going to say now, um, because it's a very dangerous situation. Um, but still I thrive because I am heavily protected. And so um, I know that the tables will turn, but yeah, there has been somebody for the last four months that has a group of people, actually, it's a coven that have been it's targeting a me. Very large group of people. I've been, a, a few of us actually have been targeted by this coven on, and yeah. this, group and, this um, and it's been, it's real. This, this stuff is very real. And again, one day when um, I'm able to, for safety purposes, um, I will tell you everything that has happened, everyone, but everything that has happened. But right now, I just can't say a whole lot. So, all right, let's well, go speaking on. Speaking of which, um, we also know that they do watch this. So, um, you're coming out of troubled waters away from this ass munch. <laughs> Look at that devil. Is that the devil card? That's the devil card. With that devil card. Yep. Yeah. It almost looks like one of the Avengers gone bad. I don't, I don't, watch the <laughs> I like the Avenger movie. So I'm kind of a dork. Um, so this is coming out of troubled waters. This is the devil. So yeah, somebody's playing with fire here. I mean, playing with fire, trying to cause havoc and get the seven of wands. So it's like, you're standing your ground. So keep standing your ground, Bryce, because you're going to pick up the new swords. There's going to be some new, um, stuff coming your way, a new life coming your way, changes coming, and you will have choices to make. Um, but I think that I don't even know how to read this card for you because we all know what this means. <laughs> well, I can't see that. What is that? It's the Ace of Cups. Oh, I'm going to have lots of sex. <laughs> That's what I see. <laughs> Well, if you want to, well, sure, sure. In we're, the future, we're gonna call it that. The next six months, in the next six months, we're doing this. Okay, okay, okay. We're gonna call. <laughs> See, I can't do a, a, a serious reading on you because <laughs> I just know too much about you. <laughs> Anyways, so the Ace of Cups is very passionate, very loving. So this could mean, uh, how do you want me to word this? You know, choices with. Um, Friendships, love, I don't know, something, something. <laughs> I can't even. Ace of Cups, guys, Ace of Cups. <laughs> okay, for, uh, well, I'm just going to put it out there. When I actually do readings for people, I'm not this much of a goofball, um, unless it gets to that point, but. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I just, I, 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 tacos and eggplants, tacos and eggplants, it's all good. <laughs> as long as it's kind of adults, adult. it's all good. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Although the other day, uh, some of the girls and I were talking, we decided it's an eggplants and tacos, palm trees. And tacos. Oh, yeah. I think I call it because I showed that picture of the, yeah. If you live in Florida, don't put Christmas tree lights on your palm trees. It's very rude. It's very rude. <laughs> eggplants on my palm tree. There it is. Well, no, but they were putting it like, I think I showed the picture where they were putting it like an outline and it was like, I mean, y'all, okay, adults, if you're watching, you know, 
You know what I'm talking about, right? <laughs> like, why does this always happen when I do a show with you? You pull the ace of cups. I mean, it's like universe is like, y'all girls need to laugh now. <laughs> Own your sexuality. God help us. Yeah. <laughs> Have we got a couple screws <laughs> A little tapped. <laughs> What is the smidge? You know what? And it's, it's, as I, t- I told Shanti today, I did Aquarius Rising Africa this morning and we were talking about, we were going through the chakra system. We were talking about Muladhara. We went all the way to Muladhara to all the way through the third one. And she was talking about how male genitalia is actually part of the first chakra where the womb of, is set the second chakra, chakra for women. And, you know, the mantra for Muladhara is I am, which <laughs> is a hung. And I just got so tickled to myself. And I said something to her. I was like, a hunk, a hunk. And I was like, the older I get, the younger my brain gets. It's like I'm turning into a 14 year old. You know what? Tyler and I would get along very well. We could tell each other jokes. That's funny. Well, can I ask the card so people can see? So that's kind of the, the duration of the next six months. Can I ask about my job in the next? What's my job going to look like in the next six months? Will the cards give us any indication about what's happening with my career? Oh, it's already changed a lot. So, sugar. Sorry, I dropped a card. It always happens. What? What's that face? I really hope those people that attack you watch your channel because oh oh wow god is gonna bless you my friend he already is yep i hope to god they watch this oh you just wait is it good? Not giving me specific, but it's telling. I feel like this is a story that's honestly telling that you are literally walking into abundance and blessings. I just want one more card. Okay, so. I'm getting a little bit of a story again here. And I really hope this is not my ego coming in. That's, that's the problem with doing a reading of someone you know, just for the audience to understand is sometimes the ego can come in. But <clears throat> what I do is I try to let that go. And um, in all honesty, I re- you really can't make the shit up. Um, the cards I just got. <clears throat> so number one, I do feel like as you know, when we say job, that is a source of income, right? So I feel like the money that was stolen from you from the uh, Hierophant, which is uh, the dark entities that are doing black magic on you, is going to get repaid to you. That's number one. I like that. That makes me happy. Um, <clears throat> that makes you happy too. So, and, it's, um, and then I do feel like you will get an offering that comes in really, really quick of some kind. And <clears throat> you might actually have a couple choices to make going ahead because you might have some dissatisfaction with some of those offers that come in. So I feel like you're going to have multiple choices. Um, but spirit's going to lead you in the right direction. And this is going, in the judgment card is like, karma that was owed back to you you know the, what's happened to you in the past couple months should not be happening to anybody that is of the light and so i feel like um the thing in the cards is i'm not specifically getting a specific job per se um <clears throat> excuse me but i feel like what spirit is trying to say is that you're going to get repaid in abundance you've put a lot of hard work into what you've done Things have been stolen from you. And so it's going to come back tenfold. And you've given your heart to, you know, a lot of viewers like you, you pour out your heart with a lot of information, whether it be, um, 
you know, your knowledge in Ashtanga yoga or the chakras or all of that stuff that, you know, you went to India and learned because it's an abundance of information um, or it's your, um, when you research things, cause you're a researcher and you pour in so many hours. And so when you're having money stolen from you because people are greedy and are polarizing negative and they are of the dark, it's going to, it's, it's, it's going to slap them in the face and uh, whatever you choose to do, it's going to make you happy. It's going to bring you blessings. Um, <clears throat> Because this is a card of celebration. So just know that whatever you do in the future, you, you're going to be all set financially. Um, what I, ask, I can do. Go, go ahead. ahead. No, go ahead. What I can do is I can ask specifically, um, are you going to do whatever you think you're going to do? If you want to go further into that. Um, I do want to go further into that, but I don't know if I want to do it on a video. Sorry, guys, because there's some things. And I, to... I kind of figure, and that's why I'm asking. Yeah, there's some things I want to kind of keep back a little bit. Um, now, my question is, so I now know that these people that have done this black magic have also created stories that are not true. Mm -hmm. I found that out and used it as heavy manipulation. Um, is every, can I just ask personally, are all the lies going to be exposed and will the truth come out? Um, yeah. <clears throat> so I want you to look at that page of uh, pentacles and I'm looking more at the uh, picture intuitively what I'm getting here. So you see how the pentacle is kind of shiny. It's kind of got like a, a reflection. It's going to hit them back. It's, it's going to put them out on their ass. Um, so yeah, it's going to come out, um, <clears throat> it's going to come out to the public. I think, I think, uh, viewers and everything like that, not just the people that, uh, were manipulated through this, but I actually think it's going to come out to followers, subscribers, whatever you want to call it, an abundance of information. And this is coming to fruition. So something is coming to fruition. Something is coming out. Um, this will do full cycle. And I, I really think God has control over this. So to the powers that are trying to do these things, you know, God wins. And so, um, and this is secrets exposed. I mean, like high priestess is secrets. Yeah. So coming to fruition, the secrets being exposed to the public. So I would get a yes from that. Now, my question too, I know some of the stuff that, and we've talked about this, Stephanie, um, just privately, I know some of the things that have been said that are not true, that were used to manipulation. And every time I hear something, it's like a gut punch and it just, it just brings me down to a very low place and I just want to cry. Is it possible that when these, that all this stuff comes out, am I going to be able to like not hear it all? You know, can I shield myself a little bit or am I going to have to hear everything that was done behind my back? to screw me over and to manipulate. How should we word this? How do you want to word that Bryce? I guess just a simple, is it going to be necessary for me to know everything? Is it going to be necessary for Bryce to know everything that was said behind her back? All right. And even not even just said behind me, that sounds petty, but like done to literally screw me over to literally cause me harm. Oh, Lots of cards flying out at me. The truth will be offered to you. It's your choice whether you hear it or not. That that's a choice. So um, nights are oftentimes like, especially the Knight of Cups. That's a that's an offering. Okay. Um, <clears throat> what I'm getting from this Five of Wands. This could be like um, the details. You know, all the details. But I feel like though. It will be told to you with love and, and, and it will strengthen you, actually. So I, I feel like whatever you're told, you're going to be able to handle it. And I feel like it's going to be told to you from someone that you care about, someone that um, is, understands the situation, has compassion. Because I got that lover's card. So I feel like when it does come out, it's going to be to the level you want. You have the choice whether you want to listen to everything or not. That's a choice. So 
Um, <coughs> and, you know, put your boundaries up. If something is too much for you, put your boundaries up and say, nope, that's too much. Maybe when I'm ready, another day. Okay. So, okay. Yeah. Everybody involved in the situation, will there be um, reunification for those who are innocent or victims in this? Because honestly, uh, losing the money, knowing their death, death spells put on me, like all that kind of stuff, that's nothing compared to losing friends. Oh, absolutely. So again, it's kind of like, it's going into the whole unification thing, but it's, it's also going back to the money. I, I don't know what it is about the money. Um, so I don't know why these two cards keep coming up. I think this is just reiterating that what's stolen from you is coming back. And it's like, this is you now you're in this hangman state, but yeah, this is unification. This is, this is celebration. This is hanging out with friends. This is cheers. You know, three of cups is very sub celebratory. So when I see this, according to the question, I'm getting a yes. Um, everything that's happening right now is very temporary. It's very painful for you, but, it will change. It's temporary. Okay. Last question. Why are they targeting me? What did I do? I'm sure you want me to go into this. Go into it. And if, I, if I need to cut it, I'll cut it. I'm going to say how it is, Bryce. Okay. It's like they're taking orders from the devil himself which is kind of what I've been getting. These are high, high, high level demonics. Um, Who are disguised as truthers. Yeah. Yeah. And um, they want to suspend you in what you're doing. And they're trying to make it very, very difficult to connect with the masculine. So they do not want you talking to somebody. There's something that, I don't know. There is something that, you know, uh, there's a connection that they do not want because that connection brings change, brings justice. They don't want that, that four cups, that's dissatisfaction. Something brings justice to the world. You have a key to something. Is this they don't want you happy. They don't want this person happy. Is this a karmic... Um, uh, let's see. What, how can I put this? This is a... Is this justice from any past life situations playing out in this life? Yeah. This happened in a past life. This exact same thing. Same connection, holding on to something, and they separated it. They separated something. I know the details, but I'm not going to go into it because of your safety with the video but yeah they separated you from something in a past life playing out again playing out again see i look at this two of pentacles as like timelines almost yeah yeah it's playing out again and they're not going to succeed this time no i mean i can pull on that if you want to be specific yeah, let's just be specific because this is the micro i mean Catherine Edwards and I talk about this a lot. This is the macro and the micro mirroring the macro. And, you know, I think a lot of people are in my position right now. I think a lot of people are dealing with forces beyond their comprehension because we are in a third density body with third density brain. Um, um, although I've been having some memories, which I've spoken about, which are kind of wild. So, um, yeah, let's, let's, let's see. Cause I think uh, hopefully people watching this will make them reassure them too, that, that, um, Things are going to turn out different this time for the good. That's what I'm asking if things are going to turn out different. 
doesn't look like you at this moment you're winning. I mean, this person's blindfolded. She's got all those swords around her. It kind of looks ugly. But I get a yes. You're going to succeed in this lifetime. And I um, feel like you're going to have blessings pouring down on you because you went through this. Um, because you've been fighting demons, literally. And um, your hard work has paid off. And um, I feel like it's going to be from somebody very important. I'm not going to name names on this, but I feel like somebody important um, sees what's happening with this King of Swords. Somebody very, very top, tippity top of the ladder important sees your struggle. I also feel like you are learning your power in the meantime. The queen of wands. Wands are fire. It's like you're the queen on fire. You are learning your, your powers. You are um, you're coming into your own. You, you're finding out who you truly are. You're tapping into that past life stuff. And I feel like this is just saying, hang on. It's going to be okay. I want to pull a couple more clarifiers just to clarify the four of pentacles because the four of pentacles is holding on to something and but i feel like it's like spirit saying just just hold on a little bit longer you know what i mean yeah because your future is going to change it's, this is going to get brighter for you and this is see see the ship <laughs> i want to i want to kind of point out the picture here this is like that higher font right Think about this is the bad guy standing and watching the ship sail. You're, you're the ship. You're like, peace out. Like, you can't touch me. Oh. Well, that made me feel then, emotional. <laughs> uh -huh. um, and this, this, is, this is all going to end in your favor. You're walking away. You're going from dark to light. So, you know, this can't, this can't hold. That's what I'm getting intuitively. Anyhow, you're rebirthing. I, feel I know it. that's not literal. It's not literal death, people. That's rebirth. <laughs> feel it, man. Yeah. Well, thank you. And that is awesome. very much like me. It gets emotional, doesn't it, when you're doing readings for people? Yeah. And so that's something I I want to touch really quick on too. Um, I oftentimes, uh, I believe a lot of people have approached me and, and, and think that my card reading will fix their problems and stuff like that. I feel people's emotions when I do readings. So it's, it's often, it, it's good to be mindful of how you're projecting yourself, especially with a reader, because I'm trying my best to do the reading. I'm trying to kind of uh, the less talking, the better, because then I can actually intuitively, because I, I will admit, I, I struggle to do readings on you, Bryce, because I know you so well. So mm -hmm. it, it's like the less talking, the better. That way I can really, really focus, process it and uh, intuitively get um, what I feel like I'm getting from the, the spirit realm or, you know, that person's higher self. Um, and the thing is, too, this is just a tool. You know, it's not always going to be 100% accurate. It's just a tool. Um, so sometimes tools aren't 100%, you know, I, I, I know it's not like a broken record. I mean, if you're using a, this is going to sound like a really cheesy analogy, but if you're using a hammer, sometimes you're not exactly hitting the nail on the head. You hit your finger. Yeah. So, you know what I mean? Um, so that's, you know, take that in consideration when, um, and if I do a reading for anybody in the audience, um, it might not resonate with you and that's perfectly okay. Now it obviously resonates with, um, Bryce, as we can see, she got very emotional, um, which is your physical, uh, self, um, reacting to what I'm saying. So there's some sort of truth in it because you had a reaction to it. Um, not saying it's 100% accurate. I, even without reading the cards, I honestly know that the tables are going to turn and what the devil made for evil, God makes for good. Um, so it's all going to work out. 
and everybody just keep watching Bryce's videos and just keep, I put them on reruns sometimes because I know they're stealing your views. That's very kind. And I have, so, I've gotten, and I have to say, you know, of course, every now and again, I get an abusive comment. Um, one of the videos I posted, I had like 10 comments I had to delete because I knew it was coming from the bad ones because um, they were marketing themselves on my little literal comments. And, um, but 99% of the comments and the subscribers, our friends and family out there, are, you guys are awesome. You guys they are really are amazing. We I mean, share a lot of the same subscribers and I'm just like floored by some of the stuff that said, I'm like, how beautiful is that for some, they don't know me. And you know, I'm, I, I made their day with a nice video or same with you, Bryce. And you know, we truly, truly appreciate that. We don't want to be idolized in any way, shape or form, no. but that kind of support, just a, a kind word really, really lifts our spirits, especially during this time when we're, we're combating and trying to fight off these uh, dark entities, whatever the hell they are. Um, we have faith that God is going to take care of this. And in the meantime, um, your love and support definitely helps us out, especially Bryce, especially what she's going through right now. So it's very much appreciated. All the emails, the kind emails. And I mean, I just want the audience to know you guys are fucking amazing. Like you guys are, uh, I mean, it's, un I just, it, it gives me so much hope that art for the future that we're walking into. And I know I've gotten so many people have reached out because they've experienced a lot of what I've experienced. And I will admit it is very vulnerable for me to talk about this. And I've talked about it a lot because it needs to be exposed. That's, that's what God told me um, when I was having my moment of why me a couple months back. And um, I hope that, that by sharing my story, you do feel like you have some solidarity and somebody to stand with you, even though we're not in the same house that you have someone, I, I believe you. I'm lucky. I have people that have witnessed these attacks um, around me. I've had people witness the blood coming out of me when I'm getting attacked. I mean, it's serious. I mean, the depths of this, I mean, Stephanie knows exactly. There was one night I didn't think I was going to survive. That's how bad the attack was. And I am very lucky on the flip side of that to have so many people in my life who love me and are with me in this. And, um, and yeah, I know that, um, including Stephanie and I know what the devil will use for bad, God will use for good. And I'll never forget that night in the bathroom or early morning when I was having a why me moment. And I was so mad at God. I just kept saying, I don't consent. And God said, I'm allowing this to happen to you because you're strong enough to take it. This needs to be exposed. Do not interrupt the enemy when they are in the process of hanging themselves. And I am not going to let you die. And he hasn't. I'm still here. I'm still standing. No matter how much money is stolen from me, my bills are still paid. I got food. I just ate a big old bowl of macaroni and cheese before we came on. Lucky. I like mac and cheese. <laughs> I, know. Stephanie, and I, I can't have, eat mac and cheese anymore. Yeah, and I have two different diet programs. We're exact opposites. But, um, but you know, I still, I still have gas in my car. You know, I still have a laptop that works. I'm still able to research. And so this inconvenience you've caused me, it's nothing compared to what the judgment you're going to have to face. Not from a human. No. From the Almighty. I wouldn't fear a human with this judgment, but the Almighty, the next realm. Yeah. You broke the laws of consent. Big time. Big time. Everything is seen and every the anything in the dark will be shown by the light. Mm -hmm. Um there's no escaping that. And that's that's not even in our brace and my control. That is in God's control. God sees all, God knows all. There's no hiding. There's no escaping that. And God karma's karma. I mean, people have commented about all the orbs around me in every single video. I am protected. That's that's the angels. That's Michael. That's Mary Magdalene. I am protected. 
I am so protected, not just from people on this earth, which I am protected from people on this earth too, but from the heavenly realms, I am very protected and I am not alone. And I feel them around me at night. I ask, I ask for Michael to put four angels around my bed every night. I feel it. And I think they just fucked with our zoom. Sorry guys. If the, if the volume went out a little bit, they, they astro project through the zoom. It's been messing with some of my videos. Um, with other people as well in this community that are being messed with. So if the, mm-hmm. you feel the voice get manipulated, that's because they're watching the astro project through, through zooms. Um, so hi guys, if you're watching, you're not allowed to be here. I don't consent you being in my zoom or in my house. You know that mm-hmm. last time you came in, I threw Florida water on you and it stunk to high heaven because demons stink. Stephanie and I smell like flowers and rainbows. Actually, I do. My hair does smell like flowers. Because of my shampoo. <laughs> Mine smells like vanilla coconut. <laughs> my body wash is pretty good smelling too. So, and I a lot of scents multiple- that I use is coconut. I bathe multiple times a day, so I'm always for myself. I don't like to. I want to smell myself. Smell good. So. Yeah, I'm very um, particular. I think we've talked about that in another show. Like I'm super particular about that. In the summertime, it's two showers a day. Yeah. Like, oh, no. I, like, and especially with, I'm, like, working out now. So, it's definitely, like, yeah. my I'm, like, OCD about hygiene and all of that. I always have been. People used to make fun of me a lot because I wash my hair every day. But I'm, like, you don't understand. When I'm done working out or practicing in the morning, I'm so sweaty that my hair is literally in a bun, like the pieces hanging out, like dripping sweat on my body. So mm-hmm. it has to be washed. It's gross otherwise. So, um, so yeah, I'm, and I'm joining you with that. So I'm very, <laughs> very clean. Let's just put it that way for myself. For the most part, I shave every day. Like I am, that is more for me than anything because that what is what makes me feel comfortable. And I don't get, I guess growing up in Georgia as well, where it's so fucking hot all the time. Um, I don't, I won't get, even if I've showered like three times during the day, like when we get off, I'm going to go take a, a soft bath because I will not get into my bed if I'm not freshly clean. I just mm-hmm. can't like get in the sheets. Same. Like it's, it's just. Yeah. I'm, I'm the same exact way. Like yeah. I always thought it was the only one like that. Cause I, I've been made fun of too. Like, Oh, why do you wash your hair every day? And I, well, first of all, I have to, I'm combination skin. So, you know, if I don't wash my hair, I, I get oily. So I, I definitely need to wash my hair every single day. My son is the exact same way. Um, I don't know if that's genetic or a dosha thing or what it is, but, um, but I'm the same exact way. And I, I used to get picked on so much. Like that's not, that's weird. And I remember having this conversation in the doctor's office with my coworkers and they were like, you do what? And I thought that was just normal. Yeah. It's normal for me. I mean, listen, um, it's normal. So I, when I lived in England for a while, I was with a guy who grew up in Zimbabwe, a white guy from Zimbabwe for a while. And we, he would shower a lot too, but our friends in London wouldn't. And I, at that point I realized that people that grow up in warmer climates just naturally bathe a lot because you sweat a lot. I mean, you guys like not to get TMI, but like bra sweat, boob sweat, like that's just Ugh. gross. Like, <laughs> so, you know, I mean, at one point, I remember when I was a kid, we used to, when I was our kid, when I was like a teenager and started wearing bras, putting like baby powder in the bra just because the sweat and just so it wouldn't like leave rashes on your rib cage because of the sin. I worked in medical field. I can't tell you how many women will come in with rashes under there that needed to be treated because they did not take care of it. Yeah. Testing. And I don't understand it. it. I just, it sorry to the subscribers. If you're yeah. not like, like, crazy like hygienically like us we're not trying to put you down this is just personally our yeah. like well our I'll tell you a funny story though i will tell you a funny story and i was so i before lockdown i had started my own mysore program up in john's creek which is a uh, suburb of atlanta and so i live literally right in the middle of the city like literally right smack dab in the middle of atlanta georgia so in the morning, I would get up at like three in the morning and I would drive up to John's Creek to teach because we teach super early in the morning. That's when my store happens. So driving up there would be like 20 minutes because there was no traffic. And then I teach for like three hours in my store class. And then I would turn around and drive back home, but I'd be driving home 
with traffic for the suburbanites coming into the city to work. So it would take me like two hours to get back home sometimes. Well, there was this one day I was literally sitting on 85 going into the city, bumper to bumper traffic in my sports bra, because obviously I would wear a sports bra when I would teach. I had sweat so much that I could feel this rash like forming underneath my boobs. I'm sitting in the middle of traffic and I literally took my bra off just there. <laughs> Just, just like, I would do. I just I would so do that. I was driving my Honda at the time and those went those glasses were you could see through and I didn't give I did not care because my boobs hurt so bad that I literally and I, I I was like I was like I'm gonna get it I'm gonna get arrested for indecent exposure, but I don't care. I mean nobody I mean I, uh, nothing happened. Do you obviously. have a gift at removing any type of bra without taking your shirt? I mean, I, can, I have I that can gift. Do it with a sports bra. I can do it with this type of bra. Oh, I can do it with a sports one too. And but I honest, like I would ha- it, it was it was hard because pulling I mean it, I, I didn't care. I did not care at that moment because I was still like an hour and a half away from getting home according to ways. And so I was like take this I mean, if I, had, if I had scissors in my car, I probably would have just cut it off because it, it hurts so bad. I just needed to get it off, just get it off. And then I started thinking, what if I get into a car accident and like my boobs are flying? Like, you know, like, like that's going to be really embarrassing. But, Why do we get on these topics all the time when we have videos? Comment same if you've ever stripped in a car on a freeway. Maybe you're from Atlanta, Georgia, and you saw you saw a girl one day taking her bra off in the car, and now you know who that girl was. It was me. So, um, so uh, comment same if you had the same experience with that. All right, thank you guys so much for sitting through this video. Thank you again for sharing this journey with me. Obviously, I love Stephanie to death. She's a sister to me at this point, and she's been in this battle with me. And um, for all those viewers out there that have sent in your, again, your words of encouragement and support, I, I appreciate that so much. You have, you guys have no idea. I know that I laugh a lot about it on camera and joke about it, but I have, this has been a very, very trying time for me. And I'm microdosing now, so that's cool um, to help. Get, I think we're going with Stephanie doing it too. I think she might try it, right? Maybe. <laughs> um, that's been a very healing experience, but this has definitely been one of the most challenging things I've ever been through in my whole entire life. And I've been through some shit in my life. So that says a lot. And so I really, again, I thank you guys so, so, so much for your support and your kindness. And I hope that one day, um, when all this is over, meeting everything is over. I truly would like to give each and every one of you a giant hug one day, because I, I do feel like the people who watch my channel are my friends. You guys are a part of this. I've said this so many times and I, and I, I mean it, you know, just because our faces are up here on camera doesn't mean that you're not here with us. And I, all the people who are subscribed, whatever number that is, because we know that my number count has been suspended by this, 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 witch, this, uh, witchery that's going on. Um, but I, you guys are all a part of this too. And, and I share this with you, this, this work with you. And I can't wait to hug you all one day in our new world that we're going to build together. And it's an honor. It, it truly is. And I think I speak for Stephanie when I say this, I don't like speaking for people, but that we are honored to stand beside you guys on this battlefield. In yeah. this moment. And yeah. the support, I don't have as big of a channel and I, I don't look at my numbers or anything like that. It doesn't really matter to me. And, um, you know, it's, Sometimes I'll be having a rough day, post a video, and then I get such a loving message and it boosts me up. I don't count on it for my self-esteem or anything like that, but this is what's going to make the world go round is this positivity, this love, because when we're going into the fourth density positive, it is all of, it, it's all love. It's all love. And I've gone my whole life trying to figure out why are people so cruel? And I never fit in. And I, you know, doing videos with you, Bryce, and meeting a bunch of people in groups that totally resonate with me. Um, I feel like I have a place I belong now. And I, I thank you for that. And I thank you for supporting my channel, Bryce. And I thank the subscribers who just plan a watch or have joined groups or have come to me for readings, you know, 
all of you guys are a huge um, impact on my life. Very, very important. You're cherished, you're loved. And, you know, you might not have a channel, but your support alone is doing something. So that's so important to understand too. You don't have to have a channel to be important, just your support. And the fact that you're walking with us in this journey is enough. Yeah. We're all just walking each other home. Mm -hmm. We'll get home together. All right, guys, once again, all of Stephanie's information is down in the description box below um, with her email to book a uh, session. And your prices are again, what are your prices again, Stephanie? So it is um, for, I do one hour and a half hour session. So half hour is 35. I do $70 for um, a full hour. And if you book in the exact same um, week with Mary, you have to book with me first. So that'll be for the Reiki session. We do a 15% off. Um, I have a promo code for those who book with me and then I send them over to Mary's email and then to book with her with the promo code. I don't tell people the promo code because you have to book with me first. I have to make sure that you are wanting to, um, you know, do both, you know, uh, you know, uh, book with both of us. So that is just a package that we um, have incorporated. Um, <coughs> we're not affiliated together or anything like that. We're just friends and we're trying to help each other out with um, each other's um, businesses because we both left our uh, corporate jobs or our you know, whatever job that is uh, no longer serving our highest good so that we can help others in the community, um, especially with all of you wonderful, loving truthers, patriots out there. And so, um, um, and if you are, and I wasn't going to announce this at all, but I've had a lot of people um, say, I I'm going to save up money for a reading. And, you know, if, if you're on a fixed income where you don't make a lot of money, um, I, I don't talk about the price, um, on air here, but I will work with you because it's, it's mainly, yeah, it's an energy exchange and that that's food on my table and everything, but it should not break your piggy bank in order to get some sort of intuitive reading either. So I will work with you. Um, but I, I have to intuitively gauge that it's not going to be every single person. It's like, if you truly, 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 um, cannot afford a full reading. Um, so anyways, um, yeah. All right. And Mary is our friend who was on and Mary has also been huge in my recovery. whenever I get attacked, she's the one that puts me back together. And, and I've I had a lot of, I've had a lot of great reports or uh, reviews coming from, uh, you know, I speak with a lot of people from groups. I've talked with many people who have had um, healings from um, Mary and they are so impressed. Uh, we were impressed. We were highly impressed with her healing. So guys, um, I like when I post this video, um, I'm going to put her email down below as I well. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, go uh, email Mary because she's phenomenal. She'll fit you in and she's very, very affordable. She charges a dollar a minute. I don't think she does minute sessions. Like, you know, I think, you ha I think there's like a, you know, a range a where, minimum that, yeah, yeah, yeah. A, a yeah, minimum, for but, five she, minutes. No. <laughs> but she doesn't go above 60 minutes. So it's, it's a total of an hour. So you're not going to pay any more than $60. So just to put it in perspective for people, Amazing. but yeah, she's Amazing. phenomenal. Go uh, contact her if you want a Reiki session. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. All right, guys. Thank you so much. And we both will be seeing you soon. Bye, guys. Bye, everyone.